Too many geology, too many geology. Hello, young people. Pillow lavas, just south of Vantage, Washington. Columbia River basalts here, each flow averaging 100 feet thick. And most of these lavas are dark colored from the top to the bottom of the lava flow. But this guy is orange at the bottom, you see that? A full one third of the basal section of the lava is orange with dark colored circles, kind of like bowling balls. Those are the pillow lavas. Pillows tell us that water was present. A large lake was here 15 million years ago between eruptions of lava. We know that because in Hawaii, underwater, we've seen lava there flow into fingers. The lava splits into these worm-like structures as it goes out into the Pacific Ocean. So these aren't bowling balls at all. They're cross sections of worm-like structures with the lava going out into this lake in central Washington. The orange area under the lake water, the dark colored stuff above the level of that ancient lake. Okay, time for some detail. Pillow, beautiful edge of a pillow, crumbly orange pelagonite over to another pillow. This is broken, fragile stuff. Angular pieces of lava, some of them actually volcanic glass or obsidian, all through this orange crumbly pelagonite. There's drama recorded right here. This is hot lava, right? 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, flowing into water that has a much lower temperature. Hot versus cold means bust up that rock. Petrified logs have been collected simply in this pelagonite, pulled right out of this zone between pillows themselves. And the location of pillow basalt all through central Washington helps us understand where ancient lakes and streams used to be. Pillow basalt in central Washington. It's all out here to see. Coolies, rocks, and canyons is scenery. Right here for you and me. Two minute geology.